Hi, my name is Dong. I'm a professional animator, and as one, I am always looking for ways to lower my workload. Today, I would like to take a look at using the Dane AI algorithm to automatically interpolate and generate in-betweens in my animation. The scene I will be working with is quite simple and involves my character breathing in and out in her sleep. Simplicity is important, as I would say that the AI has the same amount of skill as an intern in betweening on their first day, and as such should mostly be used in scenes where spacing between keys are small and have no complicated movement. However, there is a workflow of using the AI for more complicated scenes, which I will discuss later. Before we start, note that the Dane AI only works with NVIDIA GPUs and is extremely video memory hungry. First, I would like to take a look at the 2D animation workflow and discuss where the best place is for the AI to step in. To recap, with 2D animation, in general, from the layout we would do rough animation, then we would tie down those rough drawings, putting the characters on model. After the tie downs are done, they are cleaned up and in between, and after that, they are painted. Once that is done, we send it off for compositing. In my testing, the best place to use the AI is after the drawings are cleaned and painted, as the solid colors assist the algorithm when it interpolates the in-betweens. Some people would prefer for the in-betweens to be interpolated before the painting stage, but due to limitations, the algorithm will destroy your line work, requiring you to make repairs in an image editing software if you were to do it that way. So here is the scene I am working with. I work in OpenTunes, but your choice of software doesn't matter. My scene has two keys, A1 and A17, which each draw in opposite extreme positions, as well as an intermediate A9 drawing between them, mostly made to assist the AI by decreasing the distance between the drawings. I will need all the missing drawings here in red to be in between by the AI. All my in betweens will have constant spacing. Before exporting my keys, I make sure the lines are anti aliased, as this keeps the line work consistent after AI interpolation. In my case, I combined all my layers to reduce work needed for myself, but what you do for your own scenes will obviously vary. Next, I'll export the scene as a PNG sequence with a transparent background. Now we fire up the Dane AI application. The interface may vary between versions, but the necessary options should all be available. Dig around the other tabs as things get rearranged pretty often if you can't find a specific option. We set the input to PNG sequence and select the path where the PNG sequence was exported to. We don't need to worry about the export output file type as we aren't creating a video file. After that, select the output folder. I would just put it in the same folder as my input. Leave the frame handling mode on default. Under interpolation settings, change the depth awareness to cartoon or anime. Select fast alpha under alpha transparency. And I also recommend using the default interpolation algorithm. The input FPS does not matter, so set it as one or something. Then select the interpolation amount. At two times, we create one in between between every two keys. At four times, that becomes three in betweens and so on. For my scene, I will need this to be set at 8 times. Now we can start by pressing the step 1 button for the software to input the PNG sequence, and then press the step 2 button to start the interpolation. Now many of you might run into the out of memory error. In that case, go to the fixed out of memory tab and enable the split frames into section option, which separates an image into smaller squares. I generally use a section size of 350 pixels and a padding of 100 pixels. I believe this has changed in the new version of the app where it would ask you how many pieces to split the image into instead. The basic theory is the same and you would just make those pieces smaller and smaller until enough VRAM can be allocated. Now click on the step 2 button to continue. Once that is done, we go to the output folder specified and find the created interpolated frame folder and you will see the generated frames. You can use the PowerShell script by pressing Shift right click to batch rename everything if necessary, which is for me as OpenDews cannot work with files named just a bunch of numbers. With these exported frames, we will have to time them. 
I use OpenTunes, but you can use any software you want. In OpenTunes, I can drag all the images in and set the exposure for each drawing. I'll expose the drawings on the mix of 3s and 4s, as well as removing certain drawings so that I can have an ease-in effect. I can then export this and composite it in something like After Effects. While this kind of scene would be the best case scenario for the use of AI interpolation, it is possible to generate in-betweens from more complicated scenes, but you might run into issues such as these. Now when this happens, I recommend you take the drawing into your favorite image editor and manually fix them. I find that with this method, I can still save over 30 minutes to an hour on drawing over manually in-betweening and coloring them. Again, your violence may vary and you have to make your own decision if an AI is helpful on your in-betweening roster. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter, support me on Patreon if you'd like to. Until next time.